Hi again. Uh, we're talking about Howler 2023 and what's in development for the uh, coming feature of uh, that version. And uh, we've been talking about the, uh, the render menu especially uh, since we've been systematically over the last few years uh, updating and replacing uh, filters and uh, tools in the uh, in this filter menu. Uh, we have gotten to the point where we're at the, uh, the render menu now, and we've been working on this systematically. We've updated, we've already shown the uh, the new noise tool, the new Open Simplex noise tool. We've recently shown the new Sky tool, and we're just moving on down the list. We've got now a new Europa tool, and this is one of the kind of little known tools that's in there. It doesn't really do a big thing. It just kind of renders some some some, some crack like sh shapes and and things but it can be useful so we're going to take a quick look at this and give it a moment and you can see it just renders these uh these little uh t tectonic uh plate like crack like surfaces we can change the line count uh the blur level the iterations the threshold all this stuff um and that's basically it it doesn't look terribly impressive but we can do things with this. Uh, for one thing, we can um, we can create multiple uh, iterations of this, multiple frequencies of this, just by simply re reapplying it. And I'll go to render and just do that again. And maybe give it more lines this time. Uh, you can also change the, uh, the the steepness of these these uh, these crevices. Make them smaller or bigger, like this, for example. I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and fade that out, and you can see we can sort of go back to that original and just fade in a little bit of that, so we can have like these big cracks and then these smaller cracks, that sort of thing. One thing I like to do with this is also to do a little convolution of a like a maximize to make these look like smaller cracks instead of big gaping trenches. So we'll just do that a little bit. And that'll be about it. And then uh, maybe apply some other noise on top of that. Let's say, uh, oh, Warly noise. And I'll just fade that out, just like we've been doing. Just a little war Warly noise there. Uh, we might expand dynamic range so we're using the the entire range there like that and we can take a look at this and see how it looks in 3d maybe with the 3d designer or the puppy ray um to help us visualize that that as a depth map or height map and you can see it there one thing i like to do is use uh t take the zenith all the way up in these lights then we have to adjust that light range a little bit because uh it gets too dark that just uh, makes these lights look more realistic, like they're further away. Uh, I'm going to turn on ray tracing. And we can make this a little bit warmer color. I like to get some color in these things. Hit OK. And if you combine like orange and blue together, you, you'll basically end up with a white light anyways. So let's see if I bring the altitude up a smidge. These will combine a little bit better. All right, so that's just basically it. Just showing off that that new rewritten uh, Europa filter. Just a little thing, but it does. You know, it looks like it doesn't do anything useful when you see it, but then you realize, hey, this can be actually kind of useful. Look how how simple it is to make all these crack surfaces and things. Uh, nice looking rock textures, um, planet surfaces, uh, you know, ground uh, displacement maps, that kind of thing. Just easy, simple way to create those sort of textures. And uh, we'll be talking more about how in the future. But I thought I've just like I said, uh, 2023 is coming in the future at some point in the summer. You can get the uh, a preview version built now. Um, pdhowler.com there's also the best3.com that has lots of information about the program and that's about it for now thanks for watching and talk to you later